Welcome along to another Enfield Physicist Tackles a Hard A-Level Question. This one about the legal, I suppose if that's the right word, pressure limits for a football, which as you can see has to be those two values above atmospheric pressure. It's very verbal, this question. Too many words, in my opinion, but there it is. So I would start off by highlighting the important information, such as the temperature, 17 degrees, the mass of air, the circumference of the ball, and the molar mass of air. So our first task, then, really is to get the volume of the ball. And in order to do that, we need to know what the radius of the ball is, which we can get from the circumference. The circumference, we know, is 690 millimetres. And I'd put that straight into metres, avoid any messing around, times 10 to the minus 3 metres. Next, recall that the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So let's put the numbers in, 4 over 3 pi. And for the radius, it's going to be the circumference divided by 2 pi. In other words, 690 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2 pi, and then that's all cubed, like this. And that'll give you a value for our volume of 5.547 times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed. So I'm working to four significant figures here. Next up, we can use the molar mass and the mass of gas to calculate the number of moles we've got. So we have 11.4 grams of gas and the molar mass is 29. So that means that small n number of moles is 3.931 moles. Again, four significant figures. The next task then is to reach for PV equals small n RT, one of the gas equations. And from this, we can rearrange to get what the pressure is. It's just n RT divided by V. Now it's just a question of putting in the numbers. So this means that the pressure is going to be equal to 0.3931 times R, which is 8.31, times the temperature. But don't forget, this has got to be in Kelvin, so you do 17 and you add 273 to it. And then all of that needs to be divided by the volume that we just calculated. And when you work that jolly lot out, you get a pressure equal to 1.70 times 10 to the 5 pascals. So notice now that we've gone to three significant figures as per the numbers in the question. Now, we recall that atmospheric pressure is 1 times 10 to the 5 pascals and that our ball has to be between 0.6 and 1.1 times 10 to the 5 pascals higher. That therefore gives us an acceptable range of... 1.6 times 10 to the 5, all the way up to 2.1 times 10 to the 5 pascals. And obviously, our value of 1.7 times 10 to the 5 fits into that range. So this pressure is legal, decent, honest, and true. Well, hope you found that useful, and don't forget to check out a whole load of other useful videos on my site. Bye.